sure next week Monday you stay in Green Grass Isle. I wonder what it is. It looks like the early days of ASMR. This Pikachu, like just how cute is it? Hello everyone, it is me. I am back from my vacation and if you are new here, hi, I make Pokemon sleep related videos. But yeah, I went on vacation for three weeks. Three weeks has passed and I am back now. So there has been a lot. Well, not a lot, but I guess there's been stuff that has happened since I've been gone. Um, so I got a lot to catch up on. During my stay away, I was able to reach Master 4, which was a nice milestone. And I also found a shiny Pikachu at the very last day of my trip. So the funny thing was, um, during the three stays in Japan, my boyfriend found two shiny Pokemon. And I was like, what the heck? Usually he's pretty unlucky with these things. But yeah, he got two shiny Pokemon. He got a shiny Gulpin and a shiny Caterpie. So I was quite jealous, but the time did come for me. I found my shiny Pikachu at the end of the trip, which was nice. I also saw there was new updates regarding the Halloween event that's happening soon. So let's take a look at that together. Now you guys, I had so much fun in Japan. It's been a dream of mine to go. So I was super excited. I did go a little crazy with the shopping because there was just so many things that I wanted to get for myself and my friends and my family. I feel like every time I ate something delicious or purchased something that I really liked, I was like, oh, I want to get one for my mom or my brother and my sister. So yeah, I had to buy a bigger luggage there to send all the gifts back. And overall, it was just such a wonderful time there. Three weeks was a really good amount of time. I would say by the end or middle of our th third week there. Yeah, at, near the middle of our th third week there. <clears throat> Sorry. My boyfriend and I got pretty tired of vacationing. So we were looking forward to coming home and just, you know, missing the routine of our daily lives here back at home. Also, did you guys hear about the bed bug pandemic going on? Now, fortunately, we didn't experience any bed bugs in Japan. However, I did get nasty mosquito bites, like very bad. But when we got back to Canada, I went to sleep and I woke up with these rashes. Well, they look like rashes or I don't know, like allergic reaction. I'm really not sure what it is. They're not itchy or anything. They have like a white head to them. So I'm not sure if they're just like pimples or allergic reactions. But I did have a lot of dairy last night. We ate pizza and we had bubble tea and I had taro milk tea. And I'm not sure if it's just my body not being used to the milk here because when I'm in Canada, I'm pretty lactose intolerant. But I had so much dairy product in Japan and I had no side effects. Their food standards there are just different. So I think my body is just freaking out to the new change and the food again here but let's see so no shiny pokemon in this batch but they are very cute and i believe the third full moon event is happening this week so i'm not sure if i want to stay in green grass isle or if i want to move to cyan beach Mm, maybe I will move to Cyan Beach just because I feel like I need to expand my Pokedex a bit more. But yeah, you'll see I don't have a premium biscuit because when I arrived in Canada, you know, the time zone difference and everything kind of made my app weird. So there's that. But let's see, I will feed one to Pichu. In terms of jet lag, I'm doing pretty well. I am feeling the exhaustion though. So our first night we got back, we unpacked everything and then we went to bed. And then yesterday I was cleaning, doing my laundry. I visited my family as well to give them the gifts. 
Then he came back and continued doing more laundry. So I caught <clears throat> quite a bit of Pokemon while I was gone. So I didn't remove the new tab stickers off of them because I wanted to make sure that I remember which ones they were because I do want to use the calculator to see which ones I should keep and which ones I should release. Oh, in Japan, I went to probably three different Poke Centers there, which was a lot of fun. Um, I noticed that some were more busy than the others and naturally the inventory varies as well depending how busy the flow of traffic is and what is available. But I do want to show you guys some cute things that I got. So we will do that after all of this. And then, you know, throughout the next several videos, I do want to share with you guys what my trip in Japan has looked like, some things that I've done, things I've seen, things I've eaten. So I'm very excited to share that with you guys. And my overall sleep grade is an F, which I'm not surprised about at all. All right, so I think I will move to Cyan Beach. So let's go here. It's been a while. And we got a green Snorlax. And they want desserts and drinks, which is great. I like dessert weeks, so that is good. Hmm. I feel- I don't know if it's just me, but in Cyan Beach, I feel like I can zoom out more and see more of my Pokemon. But I feel like in Greengrass Isle, it's a bit more closer. Or maybe I'm just crazy because Snorlax just looks smaller. Anyways, let's see what I can whip up for him. Hmm... So I unlocked Jigglypuff's Fruity Flan and Huge Soy, Huge Power Soy Donuts while I was in Japan. Now, wait, actually, let's just switch out my team meal first, real quick. My brain is like not all there. So I picked everyone's ingredients. Now. Desserts. So three weeks in Japan was really good. I feel like definitely it is a country where you can go back to and there's still so much to do. So although I did a lot of activities, I saw a lot of things there. I do want to visit again and check off more stuff off my list just because there's just so much to do, so much to see. So we primarily stayed in Tokyo, then we went to Osaka, we did a day trip in Kyoto and Kobe as well, and Nara where we saw the deers which are so cute. Feeding the deers were so much fun. And then we stayed one week in tokyo again for the last tail end of our trip but one thing that i discovered that people like to do there is they like to do stamp rallies so they collect stamps either like aquarium stamps train stamps and even shrine stamps temple and shrine stamps so i got a book for that started collecting my stamps and they're just so beautiful like the calligraphy that the priests and priestesses do is just wow so i can only make mumu milk let's use an ingredient ticket that i received actually i'll look at that later So, oops, ingredient ticket. 
warming ginger and mumu milk, okay. I guess I will just make mumu milk for the morning, which is okay. It just kind of kills me that it's low in dish strength, but whatever. Let's dump it with a lot of ginger. And let's see, it's a critical dish, which is always great. I noticed I'm pretty lucky on Mondays where my breakfast meals are usually critical. I think two weeks ago on a Monday as well, I got two critical dishes on the same day, which is very nice. So 8k off that mumu milk. Very happy. You know what though? In Japan, I really enjoy drinking these little soy milks that they have at the convenience stores or the kombinis there and the soy milk is so good so cheap so good so inexpensive actually so good and the flavor that i really liked getting was coffee unfortunately the variety they didn't have a lot of variety the flavors that i saw a lot were like the regular soy milk flavors banana and then coffee but coffee was more Hard to find than the other two which made me a little sad but let's see what the update info is so loads of candy in the halloween 2023 bundles thank you for playing pokemon sleep to go along with the event halloween 2023 double candy research halloween 2023 bundle wait to go along with the event la 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 la. halloween 2023 bundle s m and l will be available beginning the 29th of October. Trick or treat. We've prepared some some packs of treats for you to share with your Pokemon during the Halloween se season. That's cute. You can greet your helper Pokemon with plenty of candies and enjoy Halloween to the fullest. Ooh. Up to three. Okay, so there are 250 diamonds. I probably will pick up one just for the spirit of it. Friend Incense is an item that causes at least one of the Pokemon that came to sleep to be hungry during snack time after your sleep research. If you give a Poke Biscuit to a hungry Pokemon, it is guaranteed to be a big hit or a mega hit. You can set up your incense on the stumps by your tent or through the pop-up that appears when you tap the sleep button. Try using it when you want to befriend Pokemon. Now, I guess that is just a gentle nudge to some of us that we should use our friend incense for this event since it seems like there'll be cool Pokemon. Also, the Pikachu with the witch hat. So cute. I'm hoping I can find one. And let's see, good sleep day bundle three to go along with the good sleep day event beginning at 4 a.m. on Saturday, October 28th. Good Sleep Day Bundle Volume 3 packed with items to further boost the effects of the event will be available for purchase. Interesting. Um, it's in Japanese there. Okay, so availability period on the 27th to the 31st. And the Good Day Sleep Bundle Volume 3 will be 1,500 diamonds. It's pretty costly but it's just a bunch of incense, which actually, I love incense. I love burning them. They remind me of my mom. She is Buddhist, so she does burn them at the Buddha stand. But I picked up some incense in Japan. So this one I got at a museum and the scent is mild and just so nice and woodsy. And then these ones I picked up in Kyoto, ran by this cute elderly man. So I picked up two from him and then he gave me a free sample pack. Uh, he picked a pink one for me, which I thought was cute. And it's in my kitchen right now. So unfortunately, I cannot show you guys. I don't know what, what the scent of the one I got from the museum is, but the green one here that I got from the cute old man is agarwood and then i also got sandalwood 
so very excited to have those fill up the room and let's see notice and maintenance thank you for playing pokemon sleep in order to update the app version maintenance will be conducted in the following time frame so it seems like it'll be today for me at 9 p.m and it'll end at 11 oh sorry at 1 30. All right, so let's see what the changes are. Changes to main scale cooking power up S so that it won't be <clears throat> activated when the pot's capacity exceeds 200 through main scale boost. Interesting, pot capacity can only be expanded up to a maximum of 200 through the main scale cooking power up. If the main scale cooking power up is triggered when the pot's capacity is that or above 200, a new pop up will appear to explain that the main scale cooking power up will or cannot be activated never had that problem but interesting changes to your sleep session pop-up that appears after sleep tracking so that it shows how much energy the pokemon in your pokebox recovered that i really like that's a good quality of life update changes to snorlax animation so that snorlax eats berries faster after the user presses the sleep button that is a very nice quality of sleep quality of life change changes to snorlax's animation so that the user presses the sleep button while snorlax is still eating the animation can be skipped even if it includes snorlax snorlax's rate going up that is nice as well that i really like and then changes to the sleep consistency oops, sleep consistency screen so that failed sleep tracking tracking that stopped before the user pressed and sleep session appears translucent interesting now bug fixes fixes to a bug that caused the game to become unable to pro proceed if after claiming a gift from the present box a user tapped the back button on the lower left without pressing the ok on the pop-up <clears throat> sorry my throat is quite dry um, so I personally have not have experienced that bug, but it does sound annoying. So it's nice that they are fixing that. Fixes to a bug that in some cases prevented Snorlax's strength up animation from displaying when a charge strength main skill was triggered on the home screen. Interesting. And then finally, fixes to a bug on the sleep research screen that prevented the correct amount of dream shards and research exp to be displayed at the top of the screen after a user tapped speed review and then specific to android i'm actually an apple user so i think i will skip that i'm sorry and then others other changes changes to the order of profile icons to pokedex entry order Hmm. Now let's see the Halloween double candy research. I did read a bit of this in Japan, but I guess I'll just reread it and refresh my memory with you guys. So beginning at 4 a.m. on Monday, October 30th, we will be holding an event. Halloween 2023 double candy research. Trick or treat. During the weekend, during the week-long Halloween 2023, double candy research event you'll be able to encounter pokemon of different sleep types regardless of your own sleep type that is very nice also you can get lavish rewards such as a total of handy candy s 25 of them through special missions that will be added to the usual missions and you can get at least twice the usual number of pokemon candies from sleep research that is that is very nice as well all right so try to get a lot of candies during this event also this time you'll have lots of chances to meet pikachu wearing a halloween hat and also ghost type pokemon such as ghastly we hope you're looking forward to it now i wonder why they emphasized the ghastly bit maybe doesn't really mean much anyways how to progress in the event participating in the event is easy simply press the sleep button on green grass aisle before wait a minute 
So do you have to be in green grass aisle for this event? Cause your girl's at Simon Beach, so that's gonna be an issue. All right, so simply press the sleep button on green grass aisle before going to sleep during the event period to track your sleep. A variety of event related effects will be triggered during your sleep research. Tracking on any map other than green grass aisle. Oh, there you go. Will not trigger the event bonuses. Oh my god. I wish I read this before switching, but it seems like I'll have to get a easy pass ticket. Wait, actually. No, I'm fine. Because Monday the 30th is next week. So you guys, make sure next week, Monday, you stay in green grass aisle. Whew. That is good. Okay, so event bonuses. Last day of the event, researchers will gain three times the usual number of candies for the first sleep research of the day. Many Pokemon of different sleep types will appear during sleep research, regardless of the researcher's sleep type for that day. Certain Pokemon will have a greater chance of appearing during sleep research. And then on the other days, researchers will gain two times the usual amount, of, usual amount of candies for their first sleep research of the day. A few Pokemon of different sleep types will appear during the sleep research regardless of the sleep of the researcher's sleep type of the day. And certain Pokemon will have a greater chance of appearing, okay? Um, Pokemon that are easier to encounter during this event. During the event period, you will have a greater chance of meeting the following Pokemon. A much greater chance of encountering Halloween Pikachu, Ghastly, Haunter, and Gengar. Greater encounter chance for Meowth and Cubone, and slightly greater encounter chance for... Ooh, so it seems like they'll be adding two Pokemon. I wonder what it is. All right, so note, <clears throat> because the Halloween event overlaps with the Good Sleep Day event, the effects of both Halloween, Double Candy Research, and Good Sleep Day will be applied. Notes about Halloween 2023 Double Candy Research. Each day of the Halloween Double Candy Research event rolls over at 4 a.m., okay? Um, standard event bonuses apply only to sleep data tracked on green grass aisle which thinking about it now makes sense since if new players decide to play um, they will they can only start at green grass aisle right I think that's the first one that's unlocked so makes sense the event bonus for the number of candies you gain does not apply to the second sleep session in a day Event bonuses apply only to sleep tracking that begins within the event period and if you wait to report sleep data tracked before the event begins, then select review later during the event. Event bonuses will not be applied. If you wait to report sleep data tracked during the event and select review later after the event has ended, event bonuses will be applied. Event bonuses do not apply to sleep tracking during the tutorial. The Pikachu wearing Halloween hats will stop appearing during regular sleep research after the event has ended, but will appear if you use Pikachu Halloween incense. They may also appear in another event sometime. The Pikachu wearing Halloween hats cannot, uh, cannot be evolved. Oh, that's interesting. But there's also Pikachu Halloween incense, which is pretty neat. So yeah, that was, that was a lot to read through. And I think for the sake of time, I will not go through all of this. But a lot of us did grow closer during my trip away, which was really nice. And I've also filled up my research community friends list. So I'm 50 out of 50. So very shocked a lot of you guys have decided to add me so thank you so much glad that we can be friends however it is kind of sad because that means people who want to add me i won't be able to accept just because my list is full so i'm hoping that they do increase the list size because it would be so nice to have more of you guys as friends 
I also noticed so many of you got so lucky with the shinies that you got and I think Alfseer, he got like a, sh a second shiny Magnemite was that before or after my trip? but I just remember remembered seeing that and I was like holy cow this guy has so many freaking shinies and then a lot of you guys were really lucky with um, back to back shinies that you got during the same week or even week after week and I was like when's it my turn but then it was finally my turn so actually let me show you guys what I've caught while I was gone so a lot of new stickers there because as I mentioned before I did want to use the calculator to see which ones I should keep and which ones I should return to the wild or send back to the professor but here it is my shiny Pikachu that I caught on my very last day in Japan and those are the stats but I caught another Jigglypuff but I mainly caught a lot of Bulbasaurs and Caterpies I saw another another ditto but it got full before I could catch it so there's that but I did unlock the other sleep style for it, for it which is the as is sleep style so now when I go to sleep it alternates between that one or the rock formation one which is pretty cute I did catch a lot more not a lot but three more Eevees one more Chikorita Pichus and yeah so got quite a bit to do now I think that pretty much rounds it up for the game related stuff let me show you guys the stuff that I got from the Poke Center actually first I'll show you guys something else so um, Japan is known for having really great crane game toys like figurines, snacks, but the quality of plushies that they have there compared to what you can find where I am or at least the Canadian claw games that I've seen so far, the plush qualities are just so bad. They look like they're gonna rip, the material is so thin, they're not even that cute. But my boyfriend won for me this Pikachu, so cute and it's holding his tail. And also a Larvitar Larry, how cute. And it's like fluffy too, like if you could see that. So yes, these friends sleep on the sofa. So very happy about that. And now give me one second. So at one of the Pokemon centers I was at, they have this like peace Pokemon, I think that's the line but how freaking cute so actually it's called pokemon peaceful place so sorry it's a bit blurry and these are the pokemon in that collection so the cartoon the drawing of it is different but it's so cute i wish i could have gotten more but i picked pikachu it's just so cute and the material they use is so nice and the color is like a pastel soft color so this sleeps with me on the bed so that one i got at the pokemon center now other things that i've got so i picked up unfortunately the box is a little crushed now from the luggage but this re-meant pokemon set the bonsai 2 one and I remember back in like the early days of YouTube I loved watching this one channel I forgot what the name was but they did a lot of like remand stuff where they just put together like rooms, kitchens and stuff like that and it was like the early days of ASMR actually but I got this, it reminded me of those days and these are the possibilities that you can get sorry it's not focusing but there that is I'm hoping to get the Pikachu with the Bonsley here Squirtle would be cute too 
or this one here. Forgot what this Pokemon is called though. The ice type Pokemon. But it's beautiful with the flowers. But look at the bonsai tree for Lugia. But yeah, I'll open this another time with you guys and we'll see what we get. But the other thing I got. So just due to luggage size and everything, I wasn't able to get as much as I wanted, but I'm pretty content with my haul. So, oh, I got my boyfriend a pack of Pokemon cards. I think he decided that he will not open this and he's just gonna like keep it forever for the memories. Actually, speaking of which, so we stopped by this card shop when we were walking randomly and it was, um, you know, cards that are being sold by people who are selling them so there's like Pokemon, Magic Gathering, all that stuff, One Piece as well anyways, there was a whole like display of the Pokemon cards and there was this Lily card, you know, the um, from Pokemon Sun and Moon the character Lily being sold for eight thousand dollars and i wish i took a picture but at the moment it didn't cross my mind to do that because i was just in shock of the prices and this is not eight thousand yen this is eight thousand like canadian so i was shocked but i got some stickers so two snorlaxes and then i got an eevee b-side label stickers for those who are curious and then my favorite lucario a ditto for ditto dave and then jigglypuff so the thing with me and stickers is i love collecting stickers but i'm always too scared to use them and i told myself i want to put this on my luggage but at the same time, does that make me a target for people who want to steal luggages? So I'll have to think about that. But those are the stickers. And then randomly in a lot of, you know, department stores and drug stores, they, there's a huge like eye mask culture in Japan where if you're sleeping, you put on these eye masks and they smell really nice and they can heat up sometimes so it helps you fall asleep. And they had a... Pokemon Sleep collaboration. So, this is the Gentle Steam Eye Mask from Cal. There are 12 in here. And I got the scent Lavender. So, this is what the box looks like. So cute. And then what the eye mask looks like in there. So, maybe one of these days I will try it out to see how well they work because I do have trouble sleeping sometimes. Then finally, I saw this and I was like, oh my God, this is like totally something I should get because I love flowers. Um, I try to get fresh flowers every two to three weeks depending on the type of flower and how long they could last. But I love having flowers in the home. It just adds an extra, you know, life into the room, something fun to look at and you get to watch it bloom throughout the stages of its life so when I saw this I was like oh my god I have to get it how cute because it can hold a flower so this thing here you can put water in it and a single stemmed flower and how cute right so let's open it together now when I saw this there was only the Eevee one so that's why I got that but then when we went to the Pokemon Center in Osaka, they had the Pikachu one and low-key I think the Pikachu one is kind of cuter but I already have this one so what can you do, right? Sorry, that's the sound of styrofoam Alright, so this will go to recycling I got some styrofoam stuck on me it's actually kind of smaller than I thought, but you know what? I kind of am happy that it's smaller than I thought because if it was too big, it'll take up a lot of space. But 
there it is and there's felt on the bottom which is nice so it protects the surface there is the Eevee and then oh it says fleur de coquelicot coquelicot fleur de coquelicot do not know what that means but here is the little vial and oops actually i'll show you guys so you plop right there and it holds the flower for you i can't wait to use this and i also got cookies but they're in the cabinet right now and I was too tired this morning to climb up on a chair and grab it out so I will show you guys that in another video and try out the cookies maybe on the video as well but that pretty much concludes my little Pokemon haul while I was there and I'm very happy with everything that I got especially with our new friends Larvitar Larry and Pikachu and this Pikachu like just how cute is it? I love plushies. I'm like a grown-ass woman, but They still have my heart. What can I say? Um, There is like so much I would love to show you guys but just due to the timing of the video I'm like about 37 minutes into it now but I should probably just keep it short. I mean, short, right? It's kind of long already, but there's one more thing I want to show you just because it's on my desk. So in Kyoto, I got, <clears throat> I found this um, fan shop and there's this old guy in the back making handmade fans and it's just so beautiful. So I wanted to pick one up and I got one in fabric. So hopefully it lasts a little longer and I got a cat. So my, Chinese Zodiac is actually the dog. I was born in the year of the dog, but a lot of my family members in Vietnam tell me I'm very cat-like. So I love cats and I love dogs, but they had a cat one there and I was like, how cute and precious. So it's great. It's super sturdy, beautifully made. The lacquer right here feels so nice. And it's just, I love looking at it. So I also got a little stand to put it on so that when I'm not using it, I could display it and look at it and it just brings me joy and it's such a lovely memory of my time there as well. So yeah, that's the fan that I got. I would love to show you guys the makeup and skincare that I got, but perhaps that is for a completely separate video in and of itself because you guys. The stuff that you can get in Japan is so inexpensive, but so good quality. Like a glitter eyeshadow, if I get it here at Sephora in Canada, can range me up to anywhere between 25 to even like, I don't know, something crazy like $50, right? For eyeshadow, one color. But in Japan, the quality is so nice. The glitters are so fine. It blends like a dream and they're like five bucks five bucks so it was just like a heaven for people who love skincare and makeup so i got a lot from my family as well and i'm very excited for them to enjoy that and use the skincare skincare to relax another thing i also got a haircut so not not like a huge change from before but i did chop off my dead ends and this little poodle cardigan here i actually got from uniqlo and i did the embroidery service if you're curious this is the souffle yarn cardigan highly recommend i love the color and the fit but yeah going back to my hair i did ask for front framing pieces so the shorter pe the shortest piece is here so if I tie my hair up and want to, you know, leave out the strands, there's, I have that option. Oh, well, actually this one's tucked away. So like that, cute, right? But excuse that. So there's that. And then I had more layers added. So 
like just here so just front facing layers to add some dimension and I asked for my ends to be trimmed and to just be straight so she did that there is a bit of a U shape though just because the front pieces have layers which I was fine about but yeah I'm very happy with my simple haircut I know what suits my face so happy with that I also did a head scalp massage there which is very um, normal to do in Japan and very inexpensive as well I know that in where I live here in Canada they just recently opened one but they're charging like 500 bucks for a head scalp massage so I was super excited when we were going to Japan knowing that I can get a head scalp massage for a fraction of the cost and let me tell you guys it was lovely like the pressure points and everything when they were massaging the scalp the scents they used, the products they use I had such a lovely time and I wish I got more than one scalp massage but I will link the information because they're pretty popular on Instagram and TikTok it's called Assort and they have a lot of international clients and they have stores across the country as well I think when I was there I heard that they wanted to open one in Vancouver in Canada but they have one in New York in the US but yeah lovely people the staff was amazing I gave my hairdresser a little packet of chocolate cookies because when I go to get like services done like nails and stuff I like to bring them something because a lot of times they don't have the time to eat right so just a little snack or a little pick-me-up is a very nice gesture so maybe next time you guys are planning to get a haircut your nails done or something like that you know just a little something to help perk up their day they would really appreciate it so that's one tip for you guys but yeah i did that and she was so happy and she told me she loves chocolates and she was very touched by the gesture so i was happy to make her day and yeah that was overall my experience on the haircut there's just so much more that i want to talk about you guys but for time's sake and, and editing's sake, I think I will stop here. So that is just a taste of what my trip in Japan was like. So excited to show you guys some footage that I've taken just to show you guys more of what life in Japan for the last three weeks was. But you know what? I will say the one thing I miss the most about Japan is the quality of food there how clean everyone is like the social responsibility to clean up after yourself and be clean and just understanding that you share an environment with others like i love that because i come back here and i'm like holy shit there's like trash there trash there like no one gives a shit right public washrooms are freaking disgusting but the public washrooms in japan oh my god immaculate clean never seen anything like it so yeah i will miss that but i think another thing that i'll really miss is the quality of water like running water from their showers because when i'm here i notice that i deal or i struggle with dandruff and itchy scalp and every time i wash my hair sometimes i just feel like there's still it's not like not completely clean although it is clean it just like I, it's just a feeling you know like i could feel like a little something and my hair gets dirty quicker but in japan you guys my hair was so soft so shiny my scalp was so happy not itchy at all like the quality of my skin and my hair has never been better when i was washing my face and showering in japan i don't know what they do with their water or anything of that sort but i was impressed also the shampoos in japan wow like they did wonders on my hair my hair has never been so soft as it was in japan so i am continuing to use japanese shampoos and products to maintain my hair so that it continues to be healthy and yeah that's my little rant about hair <laughs> if you guys are ever curious for whatever reason what i use i'd be more than happy to show you guys but i should probably end this video now thank you for listening to me ramble i wish i could talk to you guys more but i'll save the i'll save those stories for the next couple of videos so without further ado thank you so much for joining me again in this video i really missed you guys during the three weeks but i'm happy that i am back now and that we can catch up and talk about 
more things and you know bond over Pokemon Sleep. And thank you for supporting the channel, watching this video, and interacting. I can't wait to hear from you guys what you guys think or answer any questions. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. So bye, take care, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.